Hi, I'm Brett Parker, multimedia specialist for Packaging Strategies Magazine. And today we're highlighting Home Depot, who over the past several years have advanced sustainability commitments by eliminating hard to recycle materials and have redesigned packaging to reduce waste. Here to discuss this with us is Candice Rodriguez, Senior Director of Sustainability for the Home Depot. Candice, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. I'm delighted to be here. So Home Depot has announced recently that it has eliminated certain foams and polyvinyl chloride film in new packaging for its private brand products sold in the U.S., Canada, and online. Now, both of these packaging materials are made from synthetic substances that can take more than a century to biodegrade. Do you think you can expand a bit on these packaging materials and how Home Depot managed to eliminate them? Sure, happy to do that, Brett. So when we set this goal, we focused on transitioning from EPS and PVC film to more fiber-based packaging. So as part of this, we worked to find cushion material and other fiber-based molded pulp materials that would meet our performance standards uh, for our various products. Now, Home Depot has announced its goal to have all new private brand fiber packaging be compostable, recyclable, or from recycled content by fiscal 2027. Well, first off, how does Home Depot define fiber-based packaging? Great question. It's really fiber-based is anything that is naturally produced from trees and plants. And so when you think about it, we are fundamentally looking at corrugated paper, corrugated and paper-based material. So how does Home Depot plan to meet the goal of having all new private brand fiber packaging be compostable, recyclable, or from recycled content by fiscal 2027? Great question, Brett. So first, we looked at the categories that would be most impacted by this goal. You know, some of the categories such as products in our kind of outdoor garden area where the packaging has to be more water resistant require certain coatings. To ensure that we could meet uh, the recycled content um, requirement for those coatings, we worked with our suppliers to come up with materials that would do that. So um, some examples that we have are bird feeders or sprinklers or other products that you would find in our outdoor uh, garden area. Could you provide a couple examples of how Home Depot worked with suppliers to explore and ultimately adopt alternative packaging options that are more sustainable? Absolutely. So one great example we have is with uh, ceiling fans. So we worked with our large private brand ceiling fan suppliers to look at how we can use different configurations of molded pulp uh, as opposed to EPS foam in our packaging. What we found is that with those products that in many cases they were more secure, they were smaller, so we were able to right size those products. And as a result, uh, the suppliers and Home Depot uh, found that we could get more on a truck. Um, so that lowered our transportation costs, as well as we could obviously put more on the shelf. So it also allowed us to store more uh, for the supplier to store more, as well as for us to um, have more on the shelves in our stores. And finally, if a company wanted to initiate more sustainability efforts and reduce waste, but they didn't know where to begin, what advice would you give to them? Well, um, you know, for us, we focus on where we have our greatest impacts. Um, so for the Home Depot, 
we look at, um, you know, we have five environmental pillars, carbon emissions, water conservation, responsible chemistry, sustainable forestry, and circularity. And from there, we look at where we can make a difference under each of those pillars. I would share, you know, with another company to focus on where, what are your five pillars or what are your um, opportunities where you feel like you can have the greatest impact and start there? Great. Well, that's all the time that we have for today. Cadence Rodriguez of Home Depot, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate it. Thank you again. And thank you all for watching.